Hello everyone, I am Pooja Somshekar, founder and CEO of Contents Dynamics. Today, I am here with another video. I am going to explain what is API, why API documentation is required, and what should the API document include. Let's begin. It is a piece of code which is used to establish a connection between two softwares. Say for example, if you want to book an A ticket on a travel app, then the request is sent through the airline software or airline database in the form of API request. The API database will process the information and send its response to the travel app. Then you will be able to book a ticket based on your requirement. So this is how the API request and response works. Now coming to why API documentation is required. Documentation is a very important aspect that every technology needs to thrive. Without documentation, the end user might not get a complete value of that technology. Say for example, if you have bought a new phone and you have gone through the manuals and then you likely get to know more features about the phone but if you have not used the manual then this is no different with api documentation the api documentation plays a very important role in the life of developers without api documentation the developers may not get enough information on how to integrate the different softwares and developers may face challenge in integrating the API with the software efficiently or correctly. So let's see what the API documentation should include. The first one is overview. The API documentation should provide the overview of the concept. It means it should provide the summary of the API, what problem it is solving and why to consider this API over the other API and what are the benefits of using this particular API. The second one is tutorials. Tutorial is a primary thing which should be included in the API documentation. The tutorial should contain a step-by-step -step explanation of how to integrate the APIs with the software. And also it should include different content format to explain API to the user by explaining the overview and the tutorials which explain the step-by-step -step procedure. After adding an overview and tutorials, it is very important to add examples so that it makes developers' life easy. It's better to include examples of calls, responses, error handling and other operations so that the developers find it easy to work with API. And the last one is glossary. Glossary, it is an optional thing, but if you add it, it will avoid use of long sentences and explanation of different terms in throughout the documentation. Thank you. Hope you like the content. Please show your support by subscribing to our channel and please hit bell icon to get notifications.